Music making means everything to me. It's like what makes my life meaningful, really. If I go a long time without a creative project, I don't feel that my life is meaningful. <laughs> and it's like as much tears as joy. Why am I doing music still? Because it's so difficult to be in this industry, but it's, there's something about it that's just so worth it. And even if that's like, I don't know, maybe 20% of, of it all, it's so, because most of music making is editing and it never ends and it's really lonely and it's just so hard. But it's just when you get that moment of creating something that you really vibe with, that's like, it beats everything. So that's why I still do it. And I will probably do it all my life because I can't stop. I make electronic music that's kind of monumental and majestic at the same time. Uh, someone once described it as uh, Bohemian Electro Psychedelia, so I've kind of gone with that description since then. So it's electropop, but uh, very like big soundscapes and a lot of things going on. It's like a more is more philosophy. Well, Below was written uh, in the summer. We were a few of us going to this rave party in Stockholm. And there was like this abandoned train tunnel. And everything just looked so epic when the morning came and we were still dancing there. And it was just, I, I got so inspired by that night and went home and wrote World Below basically. And it's about like kind of being part of a subculture or something like that. It's sometimes I don't even really know what my lyrics are about because it's kind of cryptical. It's like from the subconscious side, but it was definitely inspired by that event. No more
I'm born in a musical family where all of my family members are musicians, basically. For generations on my dad's side, we've been musicians. He was just always there, like eating or breathing. So I've been singing and writing songs for the longest I can remember, really. I grew up with jazz and classical, so I've been hugely influenced by that, obviously. But I always looked up to these really cool female artists like Kate Bush and Bjork. It could also just be score music from a movie or anything, really. Like it, pretty melodies. Like it's the melodies that gets me most excited. Diamonds in my chest. It was the first song I wrote when I moved to Stockholm and I walked on the bridge over between St. Eriksplan and Fridhamsplan and just had it on repeat in my ears and felt this is the most epic song I've done so far. And uh, it was, it's still one of my best, I think. Part of making music is when I kind of lose track of time. Sometimes when you're in, inside of a track you're making, it's just, you go somewhere else, it's like, it's really weird. And that's the best part. I feel so honored to be a resident at Recent Studios. I've been here like so many days the last two months. I've been able to follow once the stage has been built and it's just so exciting. I didn't see this project coming. You knock on do other doors that are locked and then something great comes from the side. It's amazing. And it's such a great 
company and a great team and badass plugins and I'm just really stoked. And I have a really, really great band. This is so pro. So it's gonna be fun. We're doing a kind of acoustic, not acoustic, but more ballady version of Sky today. And I recorded actually my dad on trumpet and sampled him and reversed him and stuff like the trumpet. 